Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be comparing the angle 90 grips and gymnastic rings over a few different categories so you guys can work out which of the two is the best product for you. Let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing and the most important thing that we're going to be comparing is going to be functionality. What can we get out of these bits of equipment? So when it comes to calisthenics, hands down, the gymnastic ring is one of the most versatile, best bits of equipment you can get. You want to do pull-ups, push-ups, dips, rows, work the entirety of your body in one product. You can never go wrong with gymnastic rings and I wholeheartedly recommend them to anyone into calisthenics. If you use the angle 90s and you couple with their strap system, you can pretty much use them as a gymnastic ring replacement. So it covers all those things. But where it extends itself is it's not just a calisthenics tool. If you want to use it for machines, say doing a lat pull down, you can use it. If you want to do deadlifts with them, you can use it for them. If you have resistance bands, you can attach it and use them. If you get their cable pulley system, you can use it for that. So when it comes to how much use can you get out of it, what functionality can you get from it, the angle 90s, you just get more from it. It's not just a calisthenics tool. It's an all-round fitness tool. So the second category we're going to look at is ease of use. How easy is it to use? Is it beginner friendly or do you have to be an intermediate? And how quickly or how easy is it is to switch between different exercises? When it comes to the angle 90s, it has a lot of different grips that you can possibly use from changing to the power grip plus if you want to do dips to the ergo grip to the power grip. It's not hard to do, but it does take time. Switching between say doing a pull up to a push up can take a little bit longer. When you look at the gymnastic ring, the grip in itself stays exactly the same. The only variable here is going to be the length. Changing the height, whether it's the BGR system or a traditional cam buckle system, the only variable is changing the height. So it's very, very simple and easy to use. And if you want to switch between doing a pull-up to a push-up, time it takes is very, very quick and easy. And that's something for anyone that wants to be able to have that ease of use, especially if you are a beginner, the gymnastic ring is a clear winner. So the next variable we're going to be looking at is portability. And this is going to be important for people that really prioritize the ability to be able to work out anytime, anywhere. When you look at gymnastic rings, this is known as one of the most portable bits of equipment you can use. The fact that you're able to work the entirety of your body and it's this big, it's lightweight, you can put it in a backpack and take it anywhere you want. If you're traveling, you can put this in your suitcase. It's brilliant. However, if you look at the angle 90s, you can see if you just compare the size, there is a huge difference here. This is obviously a lot lighter and takes up a lot less room. This, with the strap system, you can put in your pocket. So if you're someone that prioritizes portability, whether you travel a lot or just like the idea of not having to take a backpack, if you want to go and work it outside, if it's great weather, the angle 90s is a clear winner because it's a lot more lightweight and takes up a lot less room. So the next category we're going to be looking at is price. Which one is going to give us more value? Which one are we going to get more from our money? If we look at the set of angle 90s, you can buy just the grips on their own for £44. If you couple it with a strap system, it's an additional £22. Obviously, if you want to get take advantage of the functionality this has, like the cable system to resistance bands, it's going to cost you even more money on top of that. When you get a gymnastic rings, the price difference is astronomical compared to these. A base level set of gymnastic rings you can get for £20, $30 or pounds. Obviously, you can change the price between having wooden or plastic ones. And obviously, when it comes to the strap system, you can save yourself some money by not having a numbered strap. So when it comes to value for money, you're going to get more value, more function for your money with the gymnastic rings. So category five, which one of these is gonna be better for building muscle and strength? Both of these products have two of the best benefits when it comes to these products, which is one, the ability to rotate, so it allows us to move more naturally, particularly for when it comes to the pull-up, and also it takes off the stress off our connective tissue and our joints, and both force you to have to create stability that you would normally get from a fixed bar. So both of them, in that sense, are gonna allow you to build more muscle and to get stronger. However, where they're going to differ, and this could be subjective to some people, is that you might find one better for certain exercises or movement. I find these better for doing pull-ups. I think for being able to pull it apart, it's a lot more challenging on the grip, and it's just a lot, I don't know, I find it more challenging and therefore better to use these for pull-ups. Some people may prefer rings and that's fine. However, I found the rings to be better when it came to doing dips, muscle-ups than these. I think it's the actual size. It's more comfortable, it's easier to do the rotate. So again, it's gonna change, but both of them are great for building muscle. So whichever one you choose, when it comes to building muscle and getting stronger, both are fantastic products. So we're back to the initial question. Which are better, angle 90s, or gymnastic rings. Before you ask, yes, these aren't traditional gymnastic rings. These are the trings from pull up and dip, and they allow you to get some of the benefits that you get from here to a traditional gymnastic ring of having different grips for different exercises. But it all boils down to which is better for you. And this is going to be subjective because of the different categories that we went through today, 
you are going to value different ones over the other and that's going to be different from person to person. So what it boils down to is go through each of these categories. If you have to re-watch this video, go for it. Mark down which is going to give you more value, which one is going to make you more consistent, which one is going to allow you to work out better. Mark them down and then compare the two. Find out which one is going to be best for you because either way, whichever one you go for, you're going to be happy because both of these products are fantastic. If you want to check out these products, there will be a link and a discount code down below so you can save yourself some money and also support the channel. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more like this, and let me know down below, comment, which one did you go for or which one out of the two have you used and prefer? Let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.